Hey, what's up? This is Steve USS Cunningham, two-time cruiserweight world champion. And we're checking in with Lady Chan. Shout out. In the booth is in. Hey guys, hey guys. Oh mate, it's been a it's been a tiring one. But I had to now chime in on anyway. Beats, destroys, demolishes, demoralizes. Stephen Coolboy. Um, Fulton. I was going to call him Curry. Um, wrong sport, Sham. Wrong sport. Listen, all I, all I need to say is bow in the presence of greatness. Kanye West told us this. Um, that was just a masterclass. Epic, epic, epic. Stephen Fulton didn't look like Stephen Fulton. <laughs> Listen, there was um, nothing that Stephen Fulton could do. Round one, I, I pitched it a shutout. I pitched it a shutout um, until the knockout. Stephen came out looking so tense, so nerve-wracked, so nerve-wracked. Um, he literally bit on every single one of Naya Inoue's um, feints. Um, he was jittery. He was stiff. There, there was nothing. He, he couldn't land shots. He, he was out of range. Not in a way, what worked him out within one or two rounds, like, and, and then the piece up began. The piece up began. The masterclass began. I mean, I've, 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 I've only seen these types of, um, these types of, um, performances very far and far bet between now in the sport of, um, of this glorious sport. But, um, this was my prediction. I did predict those that no, no, and those that was on my show, show. I said that um, Stephen Fulton's going to face his first defeat and his first um, uh, knockdown. And I said between round seven to nine, um, specifically seven or eight. Yeah, the knockout was brutal. It, it was, he got dropped, I think, in round seven. And then I knew his legs weren't under him properly. Uh, returned back to the corner at the end of that round. As soon as he came out, in your way, just... Just smashed him up to bits. Fulton was asleep for a little minute. Total days. The referee just said, "No, nah, that's that's the end. It's on there. All my predictions are out." So um, and it happened because I I knew that Stephen Fulton, he likes to flail by round six, and that's exactly what what he did. He seemed to lack motivation. He seemed to just give up. Um, kind of like whoa, and lapses in concentration, and that's exactly what we saw in this fight. And now, anyway, hit him with some flush shots, some some counters over, some counters that after counters over the counters over the counters combos are oh, amazing. Um, fought on the back foot, pulling out, still hitting Fulton. Um, mid range is where Fulton went wrong because that's where now. Uh, yeah. Um, um, basically, anyway, just made Stephen Fulton just. I, I knew the belts were leaving the build Yeah. I knew it. Um, I thought maybe if it goes the distance and maybe you may get a Fulton uh, victory because Fulton is usually a slick, defensively sound uh, with a little bit of snap on his shots a little bit. I don't think his uh, record reflects that. But, I mean, we didn't see that com in comparison to anyway. It, it, anyway, realised he, he don't hurt me and just walked him down. Um... um yeah, Stephen, Stephen Fulton um, just couldn't come up with any answers, mate. There was, there was just none. There was none. There was none. And everybody was worried if, anyway, power could transcend going up from 118 to 122. Listen, he washes everyone at 122, 126, 130. And currently, even at 135, I'd even have Shakur having problems with him if he could make it up. In a way, was pushing Fulton back with taps. The sheer power that I saw exercise was just fucking uncanny. Um, yeah, I, I, plus, with the skill, like, I knew he could box for sure, but I think sometimes when a boxer puncher um is establishes their cell sometimes you just look at the punching and uh the punch power is jabs <sighs> solid heavy spiteful all power jabs every shot um for the most part were just thumpers it was it was it was amazing to 
watch. It was perfection, uh, near enough personified. I always said if all that, I think he may have, if he was in a Floyd Mayweather era and he had to face old Floyd, he could beat Floyd. He could beat Floyd. Uh, Floyd would have to do the in most, the most elusive tactics, I guess. To I mean, I'm, Floyd's great, and he 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 he, he could pull that one out of the bag, but I I wouldn't be surprised if Floyd would be like, um, he's a hell of a fighter. I want to fight hell of a fighters, but um, Al Haymi won't let me fight. Um, and I, in a way, he's um. He he's a hell of a class act. He's from um, you know, the land of the rising sun, and and, and they're, they're 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 honorable. Floyd, you wouldn't want none. Floyd, Floyd may have to. You do deserve. No, no, Floyd, Floyd may pull out the stops. Who knows? Back to normal. Um, yeah, perfection. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, we'll speak about it. Um, I'm sure later today we have the great. Steve Cunningham on the show so we're gonna talk about it um um but I just thought I'll just give my little little two cents in and my two pence piece in anyway I'm gone shouts out tonight anyway um perfection personified personification <laughs> um and I anyway beats Stephen Fulton and becomes a unified four division champ. I can see five divisions, six divisions in the booty. Anyway, I'm gone. Hey, girl, it's Leah Disham, rep nonetheless. Come watch with Shan. Gyan! Wow. The monster is really in the booty scene. Gyan! Well done. Outstanding. Impressive. Excellent.